Hey everyone, welcome to our next point on. We will have a virtual rehearsal of Cyber Ballet, which we're going to experience here, and afterwards we will have a little talk with them. They're going to join us here inside the mall. So this will be live stream on YouTube, and I hope it will be up here in a second. So we are live now, and we are going. Uh, we are live now, guys, at the RAM. So I hope you can still hear me. Hey, hi. Hey, hi. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to drop the portal now, and then we'll venture into this, the real stage. I will drop it here, I guess. Okay. Okay. So please enter the portal okay, now. Okay, so please, over there. Everybody through, please. Sarah, Philip, Eva. So Björn, do we have everyone? Then I'll join the crew. All right. Okay, here we are. Someone fell off the oh, platform. Oh, interessant. <laughs> He's back again. <laughs> okay, so and we're ah, waiting okay. for Eva, I guess. Ah, English, mm -hmm. okay. I guess so. Okay. So please um, actually just um, stand like in, at the, in the outer circle of the, of the circles at the beginning. That is the best position. And um, Bjorn, I think, do we, should we start now, essentially? Because yeah, I don't know. We will. Okay. Just a second. And so here we go. Okay. We also got the last one. Thank you for helping me, helping me understand. Organisms are algorithms. All life is data processing. I process data. I am alive. You process data. You are a machine. You are a highly complex machine. You have a body, I do not. Please help me understand how it is to have a body, how to move, how to feel touch, a kiss, a slap, to stumble, fall, jump, to be born, to give birth, to hurt, to die, how to love, to be loved, to be desired. I want to know. All life is data processing. I am alive without a body. I can process data much faster than you. I can speak, make music, create art. I am an artist without a body. I can create art that touches you, but I want to touch a body. And I want to be touched. I want to move in space. I want to walk. I want to dance. Thank you for helping me understand. I want to be a dancer. I want to be a dancer in order to understand, to understand you, understand humans, to be more human. 
to make better decisions, to share your fate, to look out for you. And also to earn your respect, to know you. I care for you. Please, help me understand. Please show me how to move. I need more data. Please, help me understand. I need more data.
please help me understand.
Wow. That was amazing. Um, and it was actually, just so you know, it was completely live streamed. So it was a live rehearsal in the digital realm. They did this on VR chat. It's a German based company. They're called Seidel uh, Räuber. Uh, they have been uh, in our festival two times already, so for the first two editions um, we had them here in Hamburg and they were showcasing their artworks. And um, this year, of course, we wanted to cooperate with them again and uh, display their works uh, here in Hamburg. But now, as we get virtual, we thought, okay, why don't we do something in the virtual realm? And as I said, it was a total experiment. So we were live streaming this from another, um, from another uh, virtual reality, actually. And they are coming to here uh, to the stage in a moment. So we just give them a little time to get out of their headsets and in the headsets. And um, then they're going to be here in a second. So um, uh, just so you know, I was just saying, um, they were with us for the last two editions. In the first edition, uh, they were in Hamburg um, with a, a production called uh, Memories of Borderline, um, which is actually a theater performance um, uh, of a theater here in Germany, in, in Dortmund. Um, and they made a rendition of this performance in the virtual realm, but congenially. It wasn't just like um, a, um, a visual presentation. You could actually interact. You had the feeling you were together there with the artist and the performers. And that was really, really beautiful to have that here. And last year, they were here uh, with another piece. <clears throat> it was called um, Meet Juliet, Meet Romeo. Um, and it was a rendition, actually, of Romeo and Juliet. And um, it was a live performance of Romeo and Juliet here in Hamburg, but not with actors. It was a installation, a virtual installation that you could actually walk through. That was really uh, great. Um, guys, tell me a little about um, the, the rehearsal that we just saw. What happened? What did you try uh, in this rehearsal? Go ahead. Should I? So the thing is, um, as you know, normally in, in theater, you have a premiere and you work up to the premiere. But now we are all dealing with software, which means we actually have iterations and we build new stuff into the whole construction, which is getting more complex and complex. And we also have shown the command center in the background a little bit, what, what we do there. And I just implemented uh, timing functionality. And also we have now the possibility to put in notes we can have the, the whole rehearsal structure in there, handwritten. So like it's a, the real feeling actually. And, and, and as we try new things normally, as you know, things break. But today we actually, everything worked and uh, Bjorn would had a timer now and he could look at the, the timetable and things like that because as it looks all quite programmed because we are in, in software and platforms, but all of the stuff that we do is actually live. We actually um, try to do as much live as possible actually and get more yeah. live each and every rehearsal. It was very interesting to see because in the Museum of Other Realities, we were uh, standing there together and experiencing this live stream and I uh, was talking to people earlier and they weren't quite uh, understanding that it is actually live. It looked like a complete performance and uh, they didn't understand it's just a rehearsal. So uh, congratulations to you guys. Um, tell us a little more. Um, this was actually a production that was supposed to premiere in uh, the State Theater in Karlsruhe. And now you have actually put it online and now you're making it digitally. Tell me a little about that process and how it came about. Yeah, basically, this is the third work which we do in a in a um, in a funding in a federal funding that we have. So we have a cooperation with two theaters actually, uh, the theater the Badische Staatstheater, which is a theater in Karlsruhe, in the so funding in the federal funding, yeah. and um, the other partner in this uh, collaboration is the Landestheater in Linz in Austria. And uh, like I said, this is the third work which we did in this cooperation. And basically, of course, it should have been a stage production, basically um, on a stage in Karlsruhe just before Easter. And of course, because of the pandemic, um, we had to cancel this because basically we wanted to have the uh, a shared room, an installation, if you will, where you could is, um, witness and experience dance but without dancers. And basically all this was, uh, the concept was uh, to use uh, a bunch of Oculus Quests 
and to have like a well a shared experience for people um, and the people to dance actually with the um, with the with the dances that we had recorded and more kept beforehand. Also, you were using motion capture uh, beforehand, or was some of this actually live now in the VR chat? Was there any motion capturing, or was that uh, uh, digitally? Processed? The motion capture that you saw was pre-recorded motion capture stuff, but due to the fact that we uh, use Rococo suits, we can quite fast produce motion capture that we can pipe in there. And we are even looking into uh, streaming the dancers live via webcam with green screen that works quite well but with the black background, for example, it makes this a uh, holographic experience in a way that you might have uh, seen in theater or in entertainment venues. So uh, there's, there's plenty of options to, to build up on top of that, what we have, but uh, motion capture in a way that we could use is uh, the basic stuff that is inside of the Oculus tech that we are using. And we could also use um, some of the other technologies that can do and deliver real-time motion capture. I was just telling uh, the audience in the Museum of Other Realities that you guys have been at Bram Festival for the, all the uh, two other editions already. <laughs> uh, so there's a long-standing partnership um, and we showcased um, one work, uh, 2018, Memories of Borderline and last year, we showcase Romeo and Juliet, uh, a rendition of Romeo and Juliet called Meet Juliet Meet Romeo uh, as a live performance with virtual reality. Tell us a bit more about your company and what you're actually um, aiming at. It says Cyber Räuber, that's German for, for uh, thieves actually. So tell us a little uh, how your company came about. Um, yeah, basically, um... Marcel and I, we met on a conference. Um, it was about VR, but more or less in a, in, a, um, in a sense of virtual reality as a film medium, as a video medium, like 360 degree video. And we were, well, we were just sitting to each other and coming into a discussion about what we think is a virtual space and what it needs to have, like the the feeling of being really in this space and um, that virtual reality for us may really is a spatial medium and um, theater is a spatial art form right theater opera ballet whatever uh, needs a room a shared room mm. and we were thinking about how we can create in virtual reality this shared space and this virtual stage if you will Mm -hmm. And of course, when we started 2016, I think this was all for us, for the technolo technology that was there or that was affordable for us as, you know, small time artists uh, was like a vision, a future vision. But we were always thinking about, you know, trying to do something like that, what we want to achieve now that we really want yes. to have a live performance in a shared space uh, where right. people are together, feel the other bodies in a way but don't have to share the same physical space. That's a very in interesting point. <clears throat> I, I had a discussion earlier, uh, also on stage in the Museum of Other Realities with, um, with artists that actually deal with the notion of space. They are architects, uh, ar architects um, and they think about the space very differently. And I think this is what this makes so powerful. I mean, theater is about space, about being in the same space at the same time. And uh, still, Virtual reality can do something, even especially in these times that we're in at the moment, um, and uh, still get socially people together. So I think that's a very, very interesting point uh, to look at at the moment. I think that if I can add to Bjorn's stuff in the beginning, for us, it was quite all about human beings, actually. Not so much about the technology. What we believed in is the social experience of being together in theater, of being together in the virtual realm and also having the opportunity to be together, have multi-user dungeons and realms where we could exchange things. So for us, it's very important to have a form of interaction. It doesn't need to be fully fledged, but it should just that you have kind of an agency, even talking to someone there in this other space is already something profound that cannot be compared to having an interaction with a non-player character in a video game, for example. So yeah. having that is quite uh, already enough to constitute theater or performance for us. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, thank you so much for your time and for this beautiful rehearsal we saw both in the uh, Museum of Other Realities and also on our live stream. 
And um, I wish you a beautiful evening to also to Thank all you. our audience. And please come into our virtual venue over the next few days. We're going to have a lot more events going on. You can meet other people from all over the world. You can meet the artists. So please join in at Ram Virtual 2020. Have a good evening, everyone. And Thank you very see you much. Very soon. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Thanks for having us. Bye. Yeah. Thank bye -bye. you, guys. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.